this is my Spiritus Sancti. And as you can tell, it's gone through some changes. It's got those lovely, iconic lobes, those Spiritus Sancti lobes. Look at that. Oh, my days. And you know what? We're both going through change. <laughs> what do you think? I've got my hair cut and I think it's only right that I take one of my most beloved plants along that journey with me and also give it a haircut. What is up guys? My name is Lithius and welcome to Roots Ready. Yes, yes, yes. I am going to be doing the dreaded, I am dreaded pun because I had dreadlocks, now I don't. Wow. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to be giving this Spirit of Sancti a prop and cut. Guys, just want to take a second to really appreciate the latest leaf that has come through. This was the leaf just before. So as you can see, it had a a bit of a lobe actually just it's actually had a, re uh, a regression although the leaf itself is a lot longer and a lot more shiny i really like the texture of the leaf it looks a lot more healthy this one that came before actually had a more pronounced lobe than the leaf uh, before the last but as you can see that new leaf is looking ah scrumptious and we have a new one coming out here so i usually like to do um, a propagation of my plants when the leaf has come through and it's hardened off and I was actually waiting for this one to harden off but this plant is growing so quickly this summer that before this hardened off it already started pushing out a new leaf but what I've done in the meantime is I've, as you can see here I've got some plastic wrap some cling film and I've actually started to air layer this plant and you can see that it has some roots on the edge there it's actually starting to branch off so my hope is that if i do put this plant if i do propagate this plant uh, and put it into its own pot it won't be too much of a shock um and i don't think we're going to lose that leaf but however i don't think it's going to mature to this beautiful one that we see over here but without any further ado let's get straight into this okay so here's a better view for the propagation the legs are out it is quite warm today so uh don't 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 mind me here we go so i'm gonna first take off the plastic wrapping what i'm gonna do here is just very carefully try to remove some of this moss there we go and expose those aerial roots so this is interesting because not only do we have roots on this side over here we also have some on this side you can see that long juicy root running down the side of the plant there this is really really good so as you can see along the stem we've actually got some um i'm not sure what you call these but you can see that the root is actually starting to branch off um, which is good it's showing that the plant wants to take hold it wants to start to to really grow uh, and and the same over here as well you can see that that's that it's searching for the ground searching for the substrate the soil to really take hold now the only thing with the with, with this plant in particular, the Spirit of Sancti, is that the internodal spaces are incredibly, incredibly close. So I need to be really, really careful here when um, I'm, I'm choosing where to cut my plant from and how I do it. So whilst I am removing the moss, I'm really just trying to look for the best root in, excuse the pun, I'm full of them today. Um, <laughs> Uh, the best route in on, on how I'm going to uh, um, make my cut, where I'm going to cut. I'm looking for the nodes as well, so I don't damage those. I don't want to damage any of the roots. So there's a lot to think about here. So I think I found a point where I'm going to make my cut from. So you can see where this root is here, this yellow root. You can see where these two main roots are. I am going to try to take a cut right in between, just underneath these roots here this one and this one and this one and kind of cut diagonally across the base then oh this is going to be the biggest chop <laughs> of my life i've never I'm, I'm really nervous um should i be i think so brought you in a little bit closer oh interesting 
I think there's a node just here actually. So I've just noticed, you see this little nub here? This is a root, but just below it, there is a little pink dot that you might be able to pick up. That's a node actually. So as well as not wanting to damage any of the, the roots, I want to be careful that I'm not damaging any, any nodes because I want this plant to keep growing. I really do. And if I cut it there, then that's it. No more nodes from that point. I think that node is going to have to come with this cutting, actually. I don't think there's another way around it. Okay. I think I'm ready. I think this is it. There's no turning back now. Ooh. Oh my goodness, that was, that was scary. <laughs> that was scary. We've done it. We've done it. We've chopped it. I think that was as a clean of a cut as I will get. That node was just there, but we've got some lovely roots on this plant. Already we can see that these ones are starting to take hold. So we've got a top cut in here. I'm not going to do any more. I think that's it. It's just that one cut <laughs> for the time being, guys. I won't do any, any more for now. So I've put that top cut into the side for a second. You can already see that that top is starting to callus over. It was really white when I made my first cut, um, but it's now starting to brown up a little bit. We still have some nodes um, there, and we also have this little leaf wannabe leaf thing just here so hopefully that takes off as well so potentially we can get maybe a couple of growth points from this mother plant so i will leave it in this terracotta pot um, i will manage how i water this plant because obviously it hasn't got the leaves um to uh, photosynthesize as much as it, it would have before so i'll just manage that watering um, i won't give it too much but that's it for this plant i will cover up this node because you can see where it started to really branch off um, so I think that one wants to be covered up. So I will try to find a way to do that. As always, I'm going to cover the cut section with some cinnamon. So I've got some in my hands. I'm just going to put it over the top of the plant just like that. Cinnamon has antifungal properties. Um, so that will prevent the plant from rotting. But also it acts as a bit of a barrier. So when you're potting your plant up that it doesn't get direct access to the soil. It's just a little something that prevents that water getting straight into the cut area of the plant. So I've got a four inch clear plastic pot here and I'll be using that for the top cutting. You can see I'm holding the cinnamon in my hand. I'm actually gonna put it into the soil mix. And the soil mix I'll be using is uh, my favorite soil mix actually, which is from Soil Ninja. This is the Monstera and Philodendron mix. I've also got some beneficial mycelium here and I found that this stuff is actually, uh, I, I found that my plants really do love this stuff. Um, since I've been using it, I've seen some really good changes in my plants. They, I haven't had any um, pest issues um, since I've started using this stuff. So I think it's really helping to strengthen the plant uh, and to really make it a bit more resistant to any of those, of those pests. I usually during the summer, I might get, you know, in a handful of my plants, some spider mites. I haven't had that this year, which is really good. So I've mixed that in and then just put a layer of soil in. I'm going to take my plant and carefully place it very, very carefully. Just like so. And then we're going to backfill. go so that's the plant all potted up now um, I am going to give it a good watering I will be using my liquid gold leaf fertilizer for the first watering we'll give it a good soak before putting it away hopefully if I can find some space in my IKEA greenhouse I'll get this thing acclimated properly and then move it out maybe as it starts to grow. So there we have it. We've now got two spirits of Sancti. Sancti? I don't know. But this is was a really um, scary thing for me to do because we all know that these are not cheap plants. The, the fact that I can have two, you know, as a fail-safe, you know, what more 
can I ask for? So if you are planning to propagate your spirit of Sanctai, I hope that this was a helpful video for you and hopefully helps to alleviate some of that stress that you might be feeling about doing it. It's it In the end, it wasn't too bad. Uh, and I will keep you updated on how both of these plants get on. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, keep planting. <music>